Hi everyone, today we're going to be unboxing the Eliseway P2S triple monitor screen. We're going to go ahead and take everything out of the box. Uh, I find it easiest to put it vertically up and then slide the box out. Here's what the triple monitor screen looks like. Uh, right off the bat, it looks much nicer, it comes with a cover and all the needed cords. So this is the USB-C to USB-C cord. There is another one of those, and then it also has the USB-A cord. Um, for this video, I'm going to be using the USB-C one, but it's nice to know that it comes with all the options that I possibly could need. Also comes with an adapter and the user manual. Next, I'm going to show how to take it out of the cover. So on the back side, there's the Velcro. We're going to go ahead and take that off and then just take the screen out of the cover. Uh, this is what the back side looks like. There are two USB-C ports, a memory card port, and on the top we have these buttons that have a plus minus and then a sort of a bigger button that can be used for power. To slide the screen on, press the button and then position it on top of the laptop. I find it easier to do it when the laptop is slightly open and then just putting the screen on. Then we're gonna go ahead and slide both the sides of the screen open the back end on this is much nicer than the previous version. As you can see, there's no dial to mess with. Very simple and easy. Then we're gonna go ahead and plug in the USB-C cord in the back, make sure it's all the way in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the laptop as well. It's pretty much plug and play from here on. As you can see, the screens have turned on automatically once I've plugged it in. I don't have anything else plugged into the laptop, so that's pretty cool. Um, I can project onto the screen using the extend screen feature, just Windows plus P, and I can either use that to extend my screens or I can duplicate screens, whatever I want. Most of the times I'm using triple monitors because I want to extend the screen, so that's what I'm doing here. I can be a YouTube on one screen and have Word on one screen and then my browser on the third screen. So it works pretty well and makes it very easy to be multitasking at the same time. Now it's pretty easy to change the settings on the screen. So depending on whether I want to change the settings on the left screen or the right screen, I'm going to press a button that's closer to that screen. So either the plus or the minus button. And then I can scroll down the menu and then I can use the big button on the very end to select an option. Um, that helps you enter that specific menu setting. So plus and minus to go up and down the different options and then entering with that large button to increase brightness or contrast. That is more so your enter or select button. So I'm going to leave that here and let that settings menu go away. And once it's gone, I'm going to press a button on the other side to show that the menu pops up on the other screen. So both of the screens have their own settings. I can change brightness and contrast and whatever setting I want on one screen, and it won't affect the other, which is pretty neat. So depending on what I want to view on each screen, I can set up the settings differently. I'm going to go ahead and change the brightness on this screen, and that will... Uh, give a little bit of perspective that I'm changing the settings on this screen right here, but my other screen remains the same and there's no impact on the other screen. So I find that pretty helpful and a pretty neat feature. Um, so if I want to view a video on one screen or if I'm using Excel on one screen, I don't want too much strain on my eyes, I can set the settings for just that side. Um, now we're going to go ahead and turn the screens off. There's a button on top, uh, the same button. If you long press it, that turns the screens off. And then I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. It's easiest to shut your laptop down and then uh, close the lid. Once the lid is closed, we're going to go ahead and unplug it from the back as well, making sure that we take out the cord so nothing gets damaged. And then we're going to go ahead and close the stand as well. And once that is done, we're going to be able to go ahead and close the screens. Make sure we do it the proper way because we don't want to damage the screens in the process. Once that is done, all we need to do is press that button to expand the screens and take it off of the laptop. We can leave it on or uh, take them off and then put them back in the cover. Again, take the Velcro off and put the screens back in the cover and it's pretty much good to go. And I like that it's a lot more portable than the previous version that they had. This cover also makes it look much nicer and it's a nice touch overall.